It is with deep regret that I have tendered my resignation following the decisions of the Standards Committee this week. I hope the events of recent days will lead to reflection by all MSPs and parliamentary officials on the appropriateness, the objectivity and the effectiveness of our current procedures. I acted in good faith and on the written advice of parliamentary authorities. I believe that there has been a breach of natural justice and a partisan decision. Nevertheless, the parliamentary process, if not its conclusion, deserves respect. Ultimately, it is of course for Parliament to pass judgment on the Committee's conclusions. But in the meantime, I judge that this issue has become too much of a distraction from the real issues that should dominate our public life challenges, the cares and the concerns of communities across Scotland. <clears throat> the process of successive SNP-inspired complaints and investigations has been unrelenting and will continue well into the autumn, almost a year after the initial complaint. My pursuers have sought the prize of political victory with little thought to the standing of the Parliament. Some may feel they have achieved a political victory, but wiser heads will ask, at what price? It is clear that the vexatious complaints will continue and dominate the headlines as long as I remain Labour Scottish Parliamentary Leader. I cannot ask Labour supporters in Scotland for further forbearance. I have enjoyed the loyal support of my Shadow Ministerial team, MSPs, staff and Labour colleagues. I wanted colleagues to be aware of my decision as soon as possible. I am confident that Cathy Jamieson, our Deputy Leader, will lead the party over the summer as she has so ably done before. Over the last year, we have made important progress on reforming the party, renewing the policies and reconnecting with voters. The SNP's first year record of broken promises, spending cuts, U-turns and policy failures is daily becoming more apparent. <clears throat> I have sought to lead Labour in the Scottish Parliament with commitment and conviction, without indulging in the personal attacks which have come, become so fashionable in current Scottish politics. I will of course continue to represent my constituents in Paisley North for as long as they entrust me with their support. Thank you very much. That's Wendy Alexander there in her resignation speech within the last hour. Plenty more in a few minutes time.